So Jeff, how did this particular series we're seeing tonight come about? What can you tell us about it? Um, so I was looking at sort of the um, recent upheaval, the sort of like social distresses of uh, things going on in the province, country, globally right now, and uh, just this idea of um, sort of what institutions and things that we sort of hold on to, uh, what's worth uh, setting aside, and uh, what's worth fixing. Um, the problems, or are we just fixing the same problems over and over again? Should it be dismantled completely and then rebuilt from the ground up? And whether that be, you know, the normal social structures that we've come to rely on, um, or if, uh, you know, broader uh, topics, things like even, you know, it's like uh, the home, uh, you know, your uh, religious, government, uh, environmental, uh, institutions, those sort of things where it seems to be we're just putting like a sort of a, band, a temporary band-aid on things as opposed to, you know, this idea of just like burning things to the ground and letting us like move on from what wasn't working in the past and kind of moving forward from there. So that sort of idea uh, was born out of like the ideas of sort of the, you know, the recent forest fires um, and, and as well as like sort of uh, fires within the news, um, the burning of uh, churches after, um, you know, uh, the discovery of a number of uh, um, children under, you know, that were unreported by residential schools, uh, the burning of property and stuff during uh, riots in uh, Toronto, um, you know, those sort of things. Fire has almost been kind of this uh, both destructive as well as like a cleansing force in our culture. And so I was starting to think about that and this, um, um, this sort of expression that we have in English of like getting along like a house on fire, which seemed to be at like sort of this strange dichotomy of both being a positive thing and yet, you know, having your house on fire being this wholly destructive uh, sort of concept.